how to use adjustments in Affinity Designer. I've created three designs. I'm going to add adjustment layers to those. For this video, I'm going to mainly use black and white. Go to the Layers panel and select one shape. Go to the Layer menu and New Adjustment. I'm going to use black and white, but there are many others to choose from. You can change the properties, red, yellow, etc. As well as the adjustments, opacity and blending mode. The object's blending mode and opacity is unchanged. All kinds of black and white effects can be generated. Go to the Layers panel. The adjustment layer is added just below the selected layer and is slightly offset. The adjustment is only applied to that layer. You can move the adjustment layers. Select it and drag. Drag it to the top of the panel, making it the top layer. The adjustment applies to all the layers below. Drag the adjustment layer from the top and place it between the first and second shape. The two layers below are now affected by the adjustment layer. The shape layer at the top is now untouched. Select it again and now drag it back onto the first layer so it only affects the first layer. The two layers below are untouched. You can also duplicate the adjustment layers by right clicking and selecting Duplicate. Select the duplicated adjustments and drag them to the other shapes. Each shape layer now has its own independent adjustment layer. All the layers are now black and white. You can now modify the settings independently. Double click on the adjustment layer thumbnail to bring up the properties. Change the red setting, the green setting, etc. Once you're happy with all the changes, click the close. If you wish, you can go to the other adjustment layers and change those. Go to the layers panel, select one of the layers and go to the layer menu and new adjustment. Select another adjustment such as curves or vibrance. You can then change the settings for that adjustment. That adjustment, the curves, is only applied to that layer. You can change the blending mode and opacity for the curves as well. You can add multiple adjustments to that layer and you can also reorder the adjustments. Select the adjustment and then drag to another object. You can move the curves adjustment above or below the black and white adjustment. You can add many more adjustments and reorder them as you wish. You can also deactivate the adjustments by going to the right side and clicking the tick box. You can also change the mask of the adjustment layer. The mask controls how much of the layer is black and white and how much of it is the original. To do this, you have to go to the Pixel Persona. This is done via the main menu, Affinity Designer, in the top left. The Pixel Persona allows you to modify the mask by using paint brushes as well as a raise brush. The toolset will change. You can now select the Paint Brush tool. With the adjustment layer selected, apply the paintbrush. Go to the Brushes panel and select a new brush, such as chalk or watercolour, etc. Set the colour to black. Paint over the shape to reveal more of the original and less of the black and white. Black hides the adjustment layer. It's still there, but it's been hidden. Change the colour to white and start painting, and that reveals more of the black and white adjustment so you can create a localised adjustment effect. You can also go to the Tools panel and select the Erase brush. That will hide the adjustment layer, again revealing more of the original layer. You can repeat this over and over with different brushes to create all kinds of wonderful masks for your shapes. And this is applied for the adjustment layer. So if the layer has five or six adjustment layers, all of those will have individual masks. Once you're happy with your design, you can go to the Affinity Designer menu in the top left and go back to your vector work via the Designer Persona. The tools will change from the Pixel tools to the Vector tools. At any point, you can go to the Layers panel and to the right side of the Adjustment layer and deselect the tick box to deactivate the Adjustment, Black and White and Curves, etc. This tutorial has been using black and white. It could use any of the other adjustments. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Designer and others. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Also, please add a comment or two, as well as a dislike or like.
Thank you very much.